The wizards of old known as maids. This presentation is to show you that Sargon otherwise known as Dagon was as the records show. A real king with powerful influence. And the mages may have been the fruits of his knowledge and power. Sargon has been known by many names for example Poseidon Toth and Hermes. There is also another possibility, he could have been wiping out all others who knew the secrets to make himself appear divine. You can't be all knowing if other people hold the seeds of your knowledge. The Meds, people of the Madder, appear in history first in 836 BC. Earliest records show that Assyrian conqueror Shalmanzer II received tribute from the Amadai in connection with wars against the tribes of the Zagros. His successors undertook many expeditions against the Meds. Rebellion. You may be able to brainwash the majority but the next generation will wise up with the help of those who refuse to stray from the path of righteousness. Installing oneself as a god within their religion is a perfect way to make your presence appear immortal and divine but ultimately keep the boot upon the head of the people. Fear is an unnatural emotion. Hence it must be installed. At this early stage, the Meds were usually mentioned together with another steppe tribe, the Scythians, who seem to have been the dominant group. A link here between sorcery and the Scythe. They were divided into many districts and towns, under petty local chieftains, from the names in the Assyrian inscriptions, it appears they had already adopted the religion of Zoroaster. An Assyrian military report from 800 BC lists 28 names of Mede chiefs, but only one of these is positively identified as Iranian. A second report from 700 BC lists 26 names, of these, 5 seem to be Iranian, the others are not. Like I've said before an assimilated force of multiple cultures. Sargon in 715 BC and 713 BC subjected them up to the far mountain Bini, that is the Elbrus, Damavand, and the borders of the desert. If the account of Herodotus may be trusted. The Meds dynasty derived its origin from Daesis, a Mede chieftain in the Zagros, who was, along with his kinsmen, transported by Sargon to Hamath in Syria in 715 BC. This Deaku seems to have originally been a governor of Mani subject to Sargon, prior to his exile. In spite of repeated rebellions by the early chieftains against the Assyrian yoke, the Meds paid tribute to Assyria under Sargon's successors. Sennacherib, Izahadan and Zorbanipal. Whenever these kings marched in with their fierce armies. Magus. Amagus was a Zoroastrian astrologer priest from ancient Persia, from which is derived the terms magic, magician, and also referred to as a sorcerer or wizard. The English term may also refer to a shaman. The best known magi are the wise men from the East in the Bible, but I believe this was deception. An excellent way to keep your kingdom hidden if east was actually west and this can be explained by Plato's map as it is upside down to an educated mind. Plato's knowledge was also said to come from the Atlanteans passed down from ear to ear. Hermetic teachings and the emerald tablets of Thoth who are one in the same, Hermes is Thoth and Sargon among many other names. The Greek word is attested from the 5th century BC as a direct loan from Old Persian Magus. The Persian word is a eustem adjective from an Indo-Iranian root, ma, powerful, rich. Also continued in Sanskrit as gift, wealth, generous. Other regions are different with the meanings sacrifice and sacrificer. And to have expressed power or ability. English it's may, magts ajan. English might, the expression might and magic. The original significance of the name for the Median priests thus seems to have been the powerful. Modern Persian Mobed is derived from an old Persian compound Magyapati Lord Priest. 
The true origin of these mages is obviously the British Isles namely the Druids but those Druids were wiped out for a reason. As they would never allow the wicked man to learn the secrets and it is evident these secrets did travel from the west to the east. The plural magi entered the English language in CA. 1200, referring to the Magi mentioned in Matthew 2 to 1, the singular being attested only considerably later. In the late 14th century, when it was learned from Old French in the meaning magician together with magic. In Persian, Magi is Megusin, meaning fire worshipper. It's the origin of the word magician. The term mag, may also come from the Hebrew magdal, meaning tower. The Magi would then be the men of the tower or towers. The towers refer to the pyramids of Egypt. In the Nativity story, the Magi were said to have come from Egypt. The pyramids were a collage for mages to learn from the so-called thrice great Thoth who if I'm right traded knowledge for his installation as a god within their religion. Or to keep himself held in their religion that was previously assimilated by his Scythian army. Thoth was known by many names and I believe Sargon and Cyrus were but a few of his alter egos. Magi in the history of the Persian Empire. According to Herodotus, the Magi were the sacred caste of the Meds. They organized Persian society after the fall of Assyria and Babylon. Their power was curtailed by Cyrus, the founder of the Persian Empire, and by his son Cambyses II. The Magi revolted against Cambyses and set up a rival claimant to the throne, one of their own, who took the name of Smedis. Smedis and his forces were defeated by the Persians under Darius I. The sect of the Magi continued in Persia, though its influence was limited after this political setback. During the Classical Era, 555 BCE to 300 CE, some Magi migrated westward, settling in Greece, and then Italy. For more than a century, Mithraism, a religion derived from Persia, was the largest single religion in Rome. The Magi were likely involved in its practice. The book of Jeremiah 39-3, gives a title Rab Mag Chief Magus to the head of the Magi, Nergal Sherza. After invading Arabs succeeded in taking Ctesiphon in 637, Islam replaced Zoroastrianism, and the power of the Magi faded. It faded yes but into the background. Maybe this is the origin of the backseat driver? Greek use of Magos. While in Herodotus, Magos refers to either a member of the tribe of the Meds, or to one of the Persian priests who could interpret dreams. It could also be used for any enchanter or wizard, and especially to charlatans or quacks. Especially by philosophers such as Heraclitus who took a skeptical view of the art of an enchanter. In Hellenism, Magos started to be used as an adjective, meaning magical, as in as magica. I wonder what I'll find in Hellenism as it's on my to-do list. Please share like or subscribe for more. Ancient. Mystery.